All right, what's going on you guys? Thank you for tuning in to our part six video of our SC430 rebuild. Super excited to show you guys what we have in store for this video. So we've made a few changes, um, biggest of which is some new wheels. So we finally got some new wheels thrown on there. So super excited to show you guys how they look and uh, you know see what you think about those. And then we also fixed that horrible siren sound. So in our part five video, as soon as we replace that skid control module, um, we had this alarm or siren going off. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. And then I also took the car in to a mechanic to get diagnosed. So I'm gonna have the timing belt and the water pump replaced, have them take a look at the brakes, see what's going on with that. Um, and then, you know, maybe get the transmission looked at as well. But yeah, real quick, wanna give a few quick shout outs. Thank you so much, Tino Choi. That did help get that siren sound fixed. So thank you so much for that tip. I love all the input from you guys. I clearly do not know that much. I'm always learning as I go. So if you guys have any feedback or you know input um, about you know problems or issues that we run into, please feel free to let me know down below. You know, it might help someone else out too. Huge shout out to Bring Your Best One. Thank you so much for that comment. So I'll go ahead and give that a shot, but thank you so much for that. And shout out to More Mustard. Thank you so much for your comments. I love reading through every comment you guys send. All right, well that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. But if you have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, drop a comment. Right, so prepare your ears. There it is. So now I am fairly certain, I think it is this black box right here. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and try to just unplug this. So I just got it removed from the skid control module. So now let's go ahead and try to start the car again see if we still have that sound. If this sound is gone and you haven't subscribed, you've got to subscribe. There it is. It's gone. So that little black box must have been the little speaker or whatever it was to that alarm. Try starting the car. Yep. That sound is gone. So I cannot believe that the alarm was that easy. It was just a little connector that had to be unplugged. I'll try to see if there's a way where I can re-sync it to the new skid control module. So I'm sure that once I fit that new one up, you know, it just didn't recognize the new one. Um, so for right now, I'm just gonna leave it unplugged. So now we have functioning steering. So before the steering was super tight and awful, Almost felt like you didn't even have power steering. Uh, the speedometer works again. Uh, the siren sound is gone. So we still just have to fix all of those lights. We got the VSC, the brake light, and the ABS light on. So we've got that trio. But we're chipping away at these things, you know, bit by bit. And I'm about to take the car into a mechanic. So we'll at least have all of those problems diagnosed. And then we can kind of go from there. If you're new to the channel, I am going to be auctioning off this Lexus once I'm all done with it. So I'm going to throw it up on cars and bids at no reserve. So if it ends up only going for 3000 bucks, one of you is gonna take it home for $3,000. Subscribe so you can stay tuned with the build as well as you know the auction updates. All right, so now I'm gonna give you guys one last look at the car with the pie plate wheels on. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the new wheels. I found a sweet set on Marketplace. Um, and you know, by the end of the video of the new ones on, let me know what you think of the new ones. All right, so just picked up some new wheels. So just getting some gas real quick. So don't get all excited, these are reps. So these are not official BBS. Um, just picked them up off of Marketplace, got a pretty good deal on them and uh, you know, the tires are brand new. So I am gonna be swapping out those center caps. So they're not BBS. Um, these are the Vores VR6 or eight or something like that. Um, so it is the BBS LM replicas. I think these are gonna look awesome on the Lexus. Let's take a look over here. Got that nice silver finish. Let's 
Let's go get these home and go get them fitted up. Here is a little comparison. So here's those pie plates and the new ones I just picked up. Love this finish in these. Nice little sparkle to them. And then, so I know these are, I think, eight inches wide. These are nine and a half um, offset. These are 50 millimeter and these are, I believe, 32. So these are definitely gonna sit out a little bit more, which I'm really excited for. So hopefully we can fix up that fitment. But uh, yeah, I think these are gonna make a huge difference. So I'll show you, I did have to buy some new lug nuts and I had to pick up some wheel spacers. So the front brakes, the rear ones fit just fine but uh, the front brakes barely touched the wheels. So I just got five millimeter, some of the smallest ones I could go with so they wouldn't really make that big of a difference. Um, so I'm gonna put these wheel spacers on. Hopefully that will clear the brakes just fine. We're not gonna have any issues with that. So here's one more look at the wheels. So it's those Vors, the VR or something. I think with the tires, I might go up a little bit for the actual height. So these are 35s. So I might bump that up to 40, but let's go ahead and throw those spacers on and the wheels. Well, here they are. So just got the new wheels fitted up, got them all torqued down. So since I did find a deal on these, um, they aren't my exact spec that I was going for, but I think they still look amazing. Definitely brought the wheel out a lot. So we're still not quite flush. These are 19 inch wheels. So we did go up an inch from those pie plates. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of these. I love how these look. And once again, I am going to be swapping out those center caps. I think they look great. And they really help transform the car a lot. So, so once we dye the interior red, I think that's really going to pop. We're going to have silver wheels, dark tint, red interior, gloss black trim. So the wood's going to be wrapped black. Uh, new headlights, new taillights, new side markers. So here's a little look at what the car is going to look like. I honestly can't wait. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of these wheels. Do you like the color? Do you like the style? Do you think the size is good? You know, for a Facebook marketplace find, uh, can't be too picky, but with what I found, I think they look insane. They really do change the look of the car. All right, you guys, well, I am dropping it off at a mechanic here today. So, I'm gonna be getting all these problems sorted out and at least have them diagnosed. So, with certain things, um, I'll show you back here. I do have 
the new timing belt and water pump and all that. So I'm going to have them just go ahead and knock all that out, get that professionally done. Um, and then I'm going to have them take a look into the transmission. So check, see what's going on with that. I'll maybe drop the pan, check the solenoids, do a transmission fluid flush. Also going to have them work on the brakes. So I've tried you know, countless things with those, and I still have no clue what's going on. Uh, really intrigued to hear what that was. I'm gonna have them kind of check over everything else, um, see if there's anything else that should be done, so that way we can get this thing, you know, fully reliable and out on the road. But look at how it looks with that Nardo gray with those wheels. Love this color. Man, might just have to keep it how it is. <laughs> I think, though, I will be wrapping these, so those little pillars. I'm gonna leave the top roof black, but I think I'm gonna be wrapping those little pillars right there, Nardo gray as well. So once we get these mechanical issues sorted out, then we can dive back into it and I can, you know, go full steam. Once so I'll show you, I did take off those BBS center caps. So this is what they look like. Just say bores. I actually like them better because they're black and they match. So those BBS little covers um, were green. All right, you guys, let's go hop in and let's get this thing dropped off. Oh my gosh, and the battery's dead. Well, I guess I let it sit too long. So we just got it jumped and it fired right up. Well, let's see if we can get out of here. All right, well, so far, so good. Sorry for the shaky camera. Oh, and I figured out why the battery died. So I guess since I have that door panel taken off, um, with that door unplugged, it's triggering that there's a door open. Um, when you know in reality there's not so I guess that you know having it like that overnight just probably drained it and that makes me feel better as to why the battery was dead but yes yeah, speedometer works it drives super smooth we're just cruising right now about 1500 rpms 25 miles an hour So it looks like the full gauge cluster works. But yeah, it feels good, super smooth. Like this is one of the smoothest drives I feel like I've had. This will be cool because this might, this will hopefully be the last time that uh, you'll see the car where it's not drivable. So here's your last look at it. We'll be going over, you know, everything that was wrong with it, as well as how much we paid for all the service. And so here she is. Um, there's a little sneak peek of another project I've got. So stay tuned for those videos. But let's come take a look. Here is what they did. So timing belt, O-ring, outlet, water pump, coolant, timing belt tensioner. So they said this one back. Um, bolt, spacer, washers, shop supplies. Labor, 924. So it ended up costing me a total of 1603, including tax. It was originally gonna be, I think, $1,400, but then something else went bad. I might've been that timing belt tensioner. Let me know what you guys think. I think it's a pretty fair price, 1600 for all of that. And, you know, definitely something that had to be done, especially since I didn't know when the last time that was done. They said that it was literally just a matter of time before that original belt had snapped. Up and they actually started cutting into the yeah, washer. Yeah, it ate that into that because this wouldn't move. Wow. Well, when I got the pin to move, it... So this being bad kept the belt from just totally snapping. Because it wasn't keeping it any tighter, it no but it wasn't getting looser. Belt. It wasn't wow. getting any looser, but it wasn't getting any tighter. Okay. So at least it was holding it in one position. That's how bad it was. See how this is all bashed up? Uh -huh. This is supposed to be silver. <laughs> they don't do transmission work so i'm gonna have to take it somewhere else to get the transmission looked at but i now know what is wrong with the brakes um the brakes already felt much better so you know since i changed the pads and rotors um they already felt better than what they were before they're still not good but they were at least a little bit better than uh when we first got the car and now let me pop the hood and we will go over the brakes So they hooked up a reader and it looks like basically the entire master cylinder is bad. They quoted me 2,400 bucks to, you know, get the new one in and, uh, you know, for including the labor. So it's going to be 2,400 for them to do all of that. 
I looked online, I found a few really good condition ones for about $500. So I might just honestly end up trying to replace that myself, you know, say $1,500, $2,000. But that's basically what's wrong with the brake. And they said that's also what's causing all of the lights. So the brake, ABS, all of those. So I'll get that new entire unit replaced, uh, get the brakes all bled. So I'm honestly feeling pretty good. We got the timing belt replaced, so now I don't have to worry about that just snapping all of a sudden. Know what's going on with the brakes, so I'll just replace that entire master cylinder unit with the pump, all of that. And then last thing, I really just have to take a look at the transmission. So once we can get that transmission stuff fixed, get the reverse back, then this thing's pretty much going to be set mechanically. So that's pretty much going to wrap it up for us for this video. Um, stay tuned for our next one. That's where I'm going to be replacing that master cylinder as well as doing the transmission stuff. So I'm gonna to try to drain all of our transmission fluid and then check the solenoids. So I'll try that out. So hopefully next video, that will be our last one mechanically. So one more video of us fixing some problems and then we can jump back into the fun stuff. As always, thank you all so much for watching and stay tuned.